And it says if you burn bears, it turns what? Black. It turns black. It turns black. So that means that this image that we've been giving from the time of slavery is a lie. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. I want to show you and your son what happens when you start listening to the word of God and you start to get some understanding. I'm going to show you the little bit of understanding that you've accomplished. Because right now, you know that you're an Israelite from what tribe? That's understanding from the tribe of Judah. Young man, what's your son's name? Aiden? Aiden, what's your name? Hey, what, what tribe do you come from, Aiden? Look right here. Judah. That right there will change the whole course of what you see going on out here. You know your you know your nationality will fix main problems in our community. But I'm gonna show you what happens when our people start to understand that they're Israelites. There's something that takes place. Listen to this. Read. Mark chapter 4, verse 14. The sower sowed the word. The sower is sowing the word to you and your son Aiden. That's these brothers up there teaching you the word of God. The sower is sowing the seed unto you, read. And these are they by the wayside. You are the ones by the wayside. Come on. Where the word is sown. The word has been sown in you because you now know that you're not just black. You know that you're not African American. You know that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah according to God, according to the Bible. Read. But when they have heard, but now you've heard the word, watch this. Satan cometh immediately. Who come? Satan cometh immediately. The Bible says Satan cometh immediately to do what? And take it away the word that was sown in their heart. He come to take away the word that was sown in your heart, meaning your mind. That's why you you like, oh man, what's going on here? I, 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 let's, just, let's just go on down the street. Let me tell you something about, this, about these streets right now. This is the most important thing going on on the street. Give me Luke chapter 14 verse 23. Highways and hedges. Because nobody else out here is teaching you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that you're the children of God. And if you're the children of God, that means that you have to follow a specific guideline given by God. Would I be wrong? Read what you got. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, We are the servants of God. That's who you see standing out here today. We're not out here for none of your gay parade. We're not out here for none of the events that you think are righteous and holy that are not in the Bible because we know you don't believe in the King James Bible. You believe in the Queen James Bible, which is a false Bible. Read it again. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. Why do we need to go to the highways and hedges? These are the high, look, this is the highways these are the hedges. He said, go into the highways and hedges. Did he say go behind four walls or in a pulpit? What he said? Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come. God said, compel you. Compel you to do what? To come in that my house may be filled. That his house may be filled. What house is he talking about? He's talking about this house, the house of Israel, which includes you blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. That's who you are. You must realize that you are the greatest people to walk the earth. Hey. That what you see taking place in Columbia, South Carolina, that's nothing that you're supposed to participate in. Hey. They can do what they want. They can do whatever they want. But you, you can't do what you want because you belong to God. Hey. You belong to the chosen people. Hey. It's like if you told Aiden, Aiden, don't go in the refrigerator after 9 o'clock. If I come to your house and go in the refrigerator after 9 o'clock, was you talking to me or was you talking to Aiden? You were talking to your son. 
It's the same thing with this Bible. This Bible was not given to them. That's why they don't care nothing about it. Hey. This Bible was given to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It was written by the Israelites, for the Israelites, to the Israelites, so that you can remember who you are in these last days. Hey. Give me First Kings chapter uh, 8. Verse 48, it is high time we realize that we are the chosen people of God and that we must keep God's commandments. Hey. That way we can take rulership back on the earth. Read what you got. First Kings chapter 8, verse 48. And so return unto and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. So God said, and hey, watch this. Real quick, I'm gonna let you leave right now, sister. But look, remember we were going over this. Read that scripture that the brother gave was given to her regarding the color of Christ. Go back to the color of Christ. This is the most important thing. Open up your fire, Aiden. Open it up. Yep, that one right there. Yep, that one right there. Yep, that one right there. No, I want uh, Revelations. I want Revelations 1. I want you to look at that. Because when you look on this sign right here, Aiden and Ma, this is who we've been taught that Christ is. The whole world has been taught that this is Jesus Christ, right? But what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? Let's find out real quick. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. So let's, let's do an examination. Eh? It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Talking about the color and texture of his head. Now, when we look at this image, is his head and the hairs on his face, meaning his beard, are they white like wool? Whoop. That's strike one, Aiden. Strike one. That is strike one against this image that we have been taught is Jesus Christ. His head is not, his hair is not white and it's not woolly. I want you to touch the top of your head. Touch the top of your head. That's wool right there, brother. You see that sister walking by right there? With that afro? That's wool. It said that Christ's hair was white in color and woolly in texture. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame as fire. His eyes was a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation. When you drink wine, what happens, mama? Your eyes turn red when you drink wine. All right, read on. And his feet. Now he's talking about Christ's feet. Now, sister, I can see the, your, your legs right there. Look on your legs. They brown, right? On down in your shoe. What color is the rest of your foot? Is it white? What color is it? It's brown? Okay. The Bible says, and his feet, we're talking about Jesus Christ, and his feet, like unto fine brass. What color is brass, Aiden? What color is brass? Brown texture. Br brass is brown. Even the young man know that. This young man know brass is brown. So now it says it was as the color, uh, in the color of brass, read, as if. They burned in a furnace. So now, Aiden, if I take the brass that's already brown and I burn it in a furnace, what color does it turn? Bring it up. What? Black. Hold on. Say it on the mic. Black. If Christ is black and he's spring from the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Judah is black, what does that make you? Bring it up. That makes you heirs and kinsmen of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That is what that makes you. That means that you have the same royal blood flowing in your body that Jesus Christ, that flows in the veins of Jesus Christ. That's what this means. This means that you are a chosen generation. You come from a chosen lineage. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Psalms 82 and 5. Psalms 82 and 5. Aiden is a God on the earth. 
you should proclaim to all of your friends, to all of your family, no longer will you be called black. No longer will you accept being called African American. Tell them to call you the God on the earth. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. God says we know not. Why don't we know? Because we have been destroyed in this captivity here in America. We have been destroyed here in America. So we don't know that with God, ain't it me? They walk on in darkness. This is darkness. We've been walking on in darkness all of our lives. Read. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. God says, because Aiden, because we didn't understand that we're gods of the earth, the foundations of the earth are out of course. Meaning, things don't grow like they should grow. Back during our forefathers' times, you couldn't even carry one grape. Now today, you carry a bushel of grapes with one finger. One grape was the, who knows how big one grape was? You be drunk off of one grape. God says the foundations of the earth, they're out of course. That's why you can see these things going on around you today, and it doesn't bother you mentally. What you see today should bother you mentally. It bothered our forefather Lot so much that he had to get the hell out of there. It bothered Lot so much, the Most High God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Read on. I have said ye are gods. What did God tell Aiden? I have said ye are gods. Aiden, God says the Most High God, creator of heaven and earth, he said, I have said, you are God, come on. And all of you are the children of the Most High. And you're the children of Most High God. You're a princess. He's the God, you're the princess. Read. But ye shall die like men. Why do we die like men? Because we don't see the sin around us. We don't judge the sin around us. God told us to judge the sin that is going on around us. Read. And fall like one of the princes. Arise, O oh God. You hear that, Aiden? Read it again for Aiden. Listen up. Arise, O oh God. God said, Rise up, O oh God, Aiden. Rise up. Judge the earth and judge the earth. The wickedness that you see going on around you, you're supposed to learn to judge it. That means you have to go within the words of God and learn what your father says to do and not to do. Because that not only applies to you, it applies to the world. You got a question. What's your question, Aiden? I'm supposed to rise up and judge the earth? You're supposed to rise up. Hold on. Say it on the microphone. Say it again. I'm supposed to rise up and judge the earth? Aiden says, is he supposed to rise up and judge the earth? Read it again. Arise, O oh God. Judge the earth. For thou shalt inherit all nations. God told you, Aiden, to rise up and judge the earth for you shall inherit all nations give me that in first corinthians 6. give me that first corinthians 6. read this i'm gonna show you something aiden yes you are supposed to rise up meaning what you have to learn how to keep god's laws statutes and commandments once you learn these things then you're gonna go out and you're gonna teach other brothers and sisters like we're doing today you're gonna teach them thou shalt not kill thou shalt not murder thou, thou, thou shalt not steal thou shalt keep the sabbath day holy thou shalt not lie with mankind as you lie with womankind that's what you're gonna teach read this real quick first corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 do you not know that the saints shall judge the world god said aiden don't you know that the saints are going to judge the world? Now in the previous scripture, give me the saints. In the previous scripture, he said, Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. Now he says, Did you not know that the saints shall judge the earth? Now your question should be, Aiden, who are the saints? Who are the saints, right? Let's find out who the saints are. Read. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. He also exhorted the horn of his people. He said, I, he exhorted the horn of his people. Who is the horn of his people? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That is who he has exhorted. Read. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Come on. Even of the children of Israel. You see that, Aiden? It says, even of the children of Israel. So the saints are the children of Israel. So, Mom, what I want you to do is keep the flyer. Turn the flyer over. 
When you look on the back of the flyer, there's information there pertaining to where the school is, pertaining to the uh, phone number that you can reach out to us. It is important. It is very important that you learn to keep and apply God's laws for aiding. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.